under 38 foot long and 12,500 pounds, the all new East to West Ahara 365 RL is a beautiful luxury fifth wheel. You get dual opposing slides in the living area, massive kitchen island, eight and a half foot kitchen countertop space, double pantry, king bed in the bedroom, plus a dual vanity in the bathroom. And to top it all off, folks, you have not one, not two, but three ACs. All right, so let's jump right into it. You may be thinking, Ian, I've never heard of the East to West Ahara, and that's for good reason, because this is a very recent newcomer to the industry, and they have done such an incredible job. I mean, from design, you can see how beautiful this RV is. It's light, it's bright, it's airy, it's open, and we're gonna kind of get into some of the reasons why that is. Um, but one of the things I just wanna start off with right away is, is I wanna start off right here on the campsite slide. So a few different things of note. One, folks, I'm about six foot tall. You can see I can fully stand underneath this slide. I still have plenty of headroom. So even if you're taller, chances are you're not gonna be hitting your head on the top of the slide. Something else that's very unique that Ahara does is right here with the table and chairs. I absolutely love this. On one side, you have your two chairs. The other side, you get this right here, which if we remove this, you will see you have an ottoman. Take a look at this. This comes right out. There's storage in it, which, hey, you can never have enough storage. But I love the fact that you have an ottoman. That could be extra seating if you just want to pull it into this main living area. Or you can use it as an ottoman. Put it up next against the sofa. If you want to have some extra leg space, you can put your legs on there, put your feet up. I love the addition of this because it comes with it. There's a dedicated space for it. And they really just, whoops, they really just fully utilized it uh, to give you some, some great space. So I think that is really, really cool. As far as windows, folks, huge windows here in the Ahara slide. And what I like about this floor plan is you get to look out to your campsite. You're not looking out at your neighbors. That's fantastic. You can see the roller shades on here and every window in an Ahara does open. So if you're worried about breeze, like for example, the cross breeze right here in your slides, you can open those up to get that cross ventilation. You'll see some electrical outlets and USB ports right down here on the floor. So if you're sitting at the table, need to plug in a laptop, top or here in the chair or in the theater seats nice and easy to do but these are powered um, that's going to be kind of important because as we tend to get a little bit older right knees aren't quite what they used to be and sometimes it can be really hard to put the recliner down I've seen uh, a lot of people try and just kind of struggle with it but when it's powered I mean it's simply touch of a button right to have that come in and out super simple and easy and there's a USB port there as well something else that I really like about the Ahara is let's say you don't have shore power. So you're like, well, how am I going to extend it? Well, with the Ahara, you get an option of solar. So if you want the solar package, that one comes with a 320 watt solar panel, a 50 amp MPPT controller, and a 2000 watt inverter. And that inverter is hooked up to the majority of electrical outlets. It won't be hooked up to like the microwave or your fireplace, anything that's a super big draw, but outlets like right down here or in the bathroom or in the bedroom for a CPAP machine. If you go with that solar package, you do get the inverter with that, which is phenomenal. Right here in the back, folks, this is one of the coolest things that I have seen when we talk about RV furniture. There's not a, a ton of advancements generally when we're starting to look at furniture. And this right here, hands down, is probably the best sofa in the industry. Not only is it amazing from a um, uh, upholstery perspective because this is actually like it's really nice it doesn't feel cheap you know it's one of those things when you kind of go and you feel like that know, like a bonded leather or something or it just feels cheap and gross that's not this at all it feels absolutely fantastic super um, comfortable to sit on and look at this dun, 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 pulls out just like that one hand and what do you notice about this is that this is all level right so what that means a lot of times when you have a trifold sofa your standard trifold it was an upgrade from the regular pull out but you have like hills and valleys when you pull it out this is actually comfortable queen size bed and you get this right here fold that down that way your pillow doesn't fall down in there how cool is that and then to put it back i mean it's just as simple it, it's super lightweight they have like spring assist so i mean look at that very, very simple to put back, put the cushions back on, really comfortable. You get end tables on both sides, electrical outlets, USB ports, 
absolutely killer right there. Then across the way, take a look at this countertop, folks. When we move into this kitchen, it's kind of like a kitchen slash entertainment center. What I love is the way they seamlessly blended this together. So often you get an entertainment center here and it's big and it's chunky and it's blocky. What they have done instead is given you an eight and a half foot solid surface countertop backsplash that goes all the way up to the top of the cabinets instead of stopping right here like so many manufacturers do. Not one, but two windows right here to let in more natural light. And as far as the TV, that bad boy is just going to be right there. And if you want it to pop up, boom, there you go. You want to watch TV? You can pop that right up, 50 inch TV straight across from your theater seating. You can lay down on a sofa, still have a great angle to it. When you're done, just tuck it right away like so. Speakers right down underneath as well as our multimedia center. Let me, uh, whoop, there we go. Pop that out open so you can see that there is plenty of room for components, which I really like because so many times uh, that's not available. And you have that multimedia center located right there. Large fireplace underneath, 5,000 BTU on that. I think it's technically 5,100 BTU on that fireplace. Speaking of that, this one has an upgraded furnace as well as AC. So if you're looking at something full-time, staying comfortable, the Ahara will do it. You have a 40,000 BTU furnace instead of uh, the more common in this size, it'll be like a 30 or 35,000. So you get that 40,000 BTU furnace, fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly with forced air heat, plus heated tank pads. So if you're doing cold weather camping, you'll be fine. If you're doing warm weather camping, like today where it's 100 degrees outside, you have three ACs, folks. Three, standard. You don't have to option in that third one, it comes with three. And I love the way they have designed this. What they've done is in this 365, you have two ACs right here in the main living area, and those are just direct vents, right? There is no ductwork back here. Why is that important? Well, now you're gonna reduce the amount of cooling loss because a lot of times in that ductwork, you're not getting the airflow that you will get with just direct uh, vent like this. Also, more often than not, when you have AC issues, what will happen is it's in the ductwork. The tape will come separated, right? Because when they, with the ACs and, and RVs, they just butt them up together and they tape them. Well, if that tape gets loose or comes apart, now you're getting air loss in there. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about those getting crushed during installation. Having just two direct ones like this keeps it super cool. And you can run both ACs, two ACs, two of the three, on 30 amp service. If you have 50 amp service, you can run all three ACs at the same time. Now, when we go up into the bedroom, you will see that one is ducted, but it's just a straight run into the bathroom because we wanna make sure you're not gonna to be too hot in the bathroom. So that one is ducted. The rest of this cooling is done by these ACs, folks. I'm telling you, it does an amazing job. So let's kind of finish rounding out the kitchen here. Um, great storage all the way up top. You can take a look at that here. You know, all the way around, microwave, you have your three burner recessed cooktop with the oven and drawer down below. Plenty of, you know, storage space along the sides for pots and pans. And then you get the kitchen island. Folks, what you'll notice right away is how deep this kitchen island is. The reason for that is because you have a 101 inch wide body. So that's giving you about four extra inches in the width of this RV. And they fully utilize that space by giving you a deep counter. Not, or a deep countertop, deep island. Not only does that give you more countertop space, it also means deeper storage underneath. I mean, you can see how nice and big the drawers are here. You get the pull-out trash can, and then massive storage underneath here, great for pots and pans. You'll see they kind of have a two-tone here as well. Undermount stainless steel sink with the drying rack, high-rise faucet, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, solid surface countertops. Folks, just phenomenal, phenomenal job on the kitchen. Moving into the refrigerator, because you got to make sure you have a good fridge, right? We're looking at 16 cubic foot of space on this refrigerator. This is a 12 volt fridge. What that means is it's going to run off your batteries. Now, as I mentioned, if you so choose, you can get that solar upgrade on there, that solar package. And um, I believe most of the ones we stock at Camping World currently do. But with that package, it, you know, again, it will help make sure that this stays nice and cool with that 320 watts coming in, making sure it's going to refill that battery. But this is one of the largest, in fact, I believe it is the largest 12 volt refrigerator on the market currently. If you want, you can swap that out for a uh, propane electric, right? A gas absorption fridge, if you want that option. But this right here is absolutely the way I'd go. 
fridge on the right, freezer right there on the left. Another really big thing we're talking about Ahara is the double door pantry. When I open this guy up, take a look at how much space you get here. And here's what I love about it. You get kind of dedicated pantry space right here on the left. You have shelves that are built in. On the right, however, this you can really fluctuate with what you want to do. All these shelves are adjustable. So if you want it for pantry, use it for pantry. If you want it to put, you know, brooms and Swiffers in, adjust the shelves, make them high. What if you want a coat closet? You want somewhere to come in and hang everything up? Great. Remove these shelves or take them out or you can drop them down low. Now you have a spot to hang your jackets. Plus, you can use these to put your shoes on if that's what you want to use it for. So that way you have shoe storage and jacket storage. Absolutely phenomenal there. Control panel will be located right here. Pretty simple stuff. You'll see uh, two of your three AC units here as well, plus the max air fan. You can see this one does have that inverter installed. Because again, this one does have that package on there. And then as we step up into the bathroom, you'll see it has a handrail. That way it's nice and easy to uh, have that control. And then this is really what sets the 365 apart from the 362 uh, that Ahara also offers is the bathroom. And here you get double vanity. I absolutely love this. I love when able to put a double vanity in. Um, you know, that way a couple people can get ready at the same time, of course. Mirrors on both sides, storage in the center, storage all underneath there. You also notice it's a pocket door. So that way you don't have to do the door dance as you're coming up the stairs. If you've been in a fifth wheel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you have plenty of storage in the form of a really deep linen closet. I mean, take a look at that. Ton of space there. Uh, the toilet is positioned perfectly. I mean, you can see here, great leg room, plenty of shoulder space. It's a porcelain bowl, as you would expect. And then the shower is a one-piece fiberglass residential style shower. So that way there's not going to be any seams. It's very solid, being that, again, kind of residential application. You have the larger hand wand skylight up top for light as well as additional headspace. Again, folks, I said about six foot, more than enough room. Plus you have the seat right here, which is a great spot, whether you're, you know, shaving your legs or honestly just to soap your leg up, right? Throw it up there, makes it super easy. Or if you just need extra room for, you know, shampoo, conditioner, whatever else, you have that there. And then lastly, before we head outside, of course, we have to come into the bedroom here. Let me, uh, Turn this AC off, dun, 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 dun. there we go. So obviously that, that control will be right there, the thermostat, the third one for the uh, bedroom here. And as I mentioned, this one is ducted. So if you want the direct dump, you can open it up, but this one has some ducts here in the bedroom and then that ducts over into the bathroom. King size bed, 70 by 80. You get that full 80 inch length on there. So if you're taller, your feet aren't gonna hang off. Beautiful headboard with some accent lights. I love that they're not blue. Thank you so much. It's a nice clean light here. Windows on both sides. Again, those open, as I mentioned previously, you have your nightstands, electrical outlets and USB ports. And again, because this one has that solar package, those are inverted outlets. Uh, one of the things about the bed as well is you have good storage underneath. We can see that there. And then directly across the way is our dresser with a window plus a spot for TV in the bedroom here if we so choose. Washer dryer prep will be located in this cabinet and this is enough space that you can put a stackable unit in here, which if you've been looking into washer and dryers, I highly, highly recommend uh, a stackable or two separate units over a combo unit. Uh, most customers I know that have gotten combo units just aren't happy with them. Then if you take a look right inside the main wardrobe, you can see the hanging rod, of course, shelf up top. And because they use the deck saver, uh, chassis. I mean, this, look at this. I can step all the way in this closet at six foot tall, walk all the way up here. There's not like that silly lip that a lot of times you see. And even in the bedroom, I mean, if I get out of bed, I can stand up right here and have no issues with the ceiling height whatsoever. Folks, it's absolutely gorgeous inside. But one of the things I love that Ahara did is they also built it really well. Let's go outside and I'll teach you all about it. All right, so outside, you'll notice right away the gorgeous front cap there. I think they did a fantastic job. Couple hitch lights here as well, plus the Rhino box. And if we take a look up front, you will see where your batteries are stored there. Um, and another thing I really, really enjoy is the fact they put slam latch on every single outside baggage door. More often than not, you'll get like twist locks, like the little thumb twist locks. I love having the actual slam latches on everything. I want to show you this side real quick because I want you to notice something right away. And that is the height of the slide out. That is that bedroom slide right there. You can see how much room I have underneath here. So I'm not going to smack my head when I come around to mess with leveling or the propane or get into this side of the pass through. That's a huge win. 
You'll notice right here is our auto level. This one does come standard with auto level, so you can simply touch the button. Super easy. One of our propane tanks will be here, the other one on the other side. Show you this real quick, and then we'll head around to the, uh, the camp side. But I just want to show you your kind of um, convenience center right here. So you have all your water hookups as well as uh, easy winterization, which I love. And as I mentioned, folks, this one is four season capable. So as you would expect, all your valves are insulated, battery disconnect there, of course, a light and an electrical outlet. Now, one of the things I always like to talk about uh, when we talk about the outside is construction. And Ahara does a really, really good job when we look at the construction from a few different standpoints. One of them is the fact that the sidewalls on here are all Asdell composite material. So behind your fiberglass, rather than use Luan, which is a wood substrate, they use the Asdell. What does that do for you? Well, it's going to be lighter weight, which is always important, especially when you're towing a larger fifth wheel. It's also going to uh, have better sound deadening qualities or better insulation values in there. So it's going to be quieter inside as well as better insulated. It's green, so you don't have off gassing and almost completely eliminates the possibility of delamination because it doesn't absorb moisture. And delamination is those bubbles you get on the outside. So all in all, a huge win when you're talking about construction. There are not many manufacturers that are doing that on fifth wheels. I love that they went that route. Uh, again, another propane tank right over here, as I said, slam latch. Really enjoy that. Open this up for you. Now, because we don't have a slide up top, it does allow, uh, allow us to put these slide all the way up with a magnetic catch right there. You can see how much storage space you have thanks to that drop frame construction. Uh, your hookups will be right over there for TV if you do want an outside TV. And then as we make our way back a little bit further, you can see the more ride step above steps there going into the main entrance with that foldable grab handle. You have two power awnings on this RV, basically uh, covering this entire side. So lots of uh, shade that you can have. So you have great usable camp space. And again, we talk about that construction, you have laminated side boxes on here as well, or slide boxes, sorry. The sides of the slide as well as the roof of the slide are all going to be laminated. That is really, really important. Uh, one from a stability standpoint. Also, you know, if, uh, if you can get up on the top of that slide if you need to, assuming that, you know, you can climb up onto the roof, there's obviously gonna be some weight ratings, but if you can get up on the ladder, then you can get up on the top of that slide box, which does make things a lot easier to clean off. When we look at the tires, G-rated tires on here, folks, 14-ply G-rated tires, that's going to be a big deal when you're talking about uh, travel. I know one of the most feared things a lot of RVers have is a blowout. Having those uh, bigger tires, the stronger tires, is definitely a huge deal. Uh, you also have the... The more ride suspension system in there, the CRE 3000, you get that three inches of travel, you get the wet shackles, so uh, you get more longevity out of your bearings and everything in there too. Plus you have the Dexter Gladiator axles so that you have the stronger axles on there. They're actually overbuilt, which is really nice. Then as we come around to the back real quick, you'll see you have a propane quick connect. So if you want to hook up like a Blackstone griddle, you can do that. And as I mentioned, right back here is that ladder so you can climb up onto the roof, 250 pound weight capacity, fully walkable roof as you would expect. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2022 East to West Ahara 365 RL. Ahara may be a newcomer to the fifth wheel market, but they absolutely knocked it out of the park. It's beautiful, it's spacious, and it's incredibly well built. If you're interested in this fifth wheel and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.